Hey fam, I'm back with another DIY video. Thank you guys for coming back. If you're new to this channel, my name is Nana and I upload a lot of DIYs to help us with our natural hair journey. And so in this video, I'm going to show you guys three ways in which you can use flaxseed to grow your hair healthy, strong and long. So guys, keep watching and as usual, I'll be right back. So let's get right into the video with our first method which is hair growth oil so for this we're going to be using flaxseed as i said as our as our main ingredients we're going to be using two tablespoons of flaxseed guys we all know how amazing this is for our hair if you've not been using flaxseed you should try these methods because flaxseed increases the elasticity of your hair it will help it's amazing guys in preventing split ends it also helps to stop premature grain it keeps dandruff and itchy scab at bay guys so if you're suffering from dandruff you want to try applying flaxseed oil or flaxseed gel to your scalp very often it also helps to strengthen your hair from the roots and of course it's also going to reduce thinning hair so guys, once you've put your seeds into the blender and blend them, you want to pour that into a bowl. So now guys, if you do, if you have the powder form, this is where you're going to start the recipe. So just put about three spoons or uh, three tablespoons of your powder of uh, fenugreek into a bowl. And then you want to continue by adding an oil like what I'm doing now. I'm going to add um, one cup of castor oil so you can add your own oil. The oils that you like your hair loves i'm using castor oil you can use coconut oil um grapeseed oil um sunflower oil any other oil that you like even um avo avocado oil is still okay so you want to pour that into your flaxseed and mix it real good so guys if you're watching this video for the very first time please subscribe join the family and um, I also have hope I also hope that you will go through the other videos and I hope it's also going to help you with your hair journey and of course I know it's going to help you guys because the videos are amazing and I've been having an amazing feedback from people who have been trying my recipe so why not join the family by clicking the subscribe button and also sharing our videos and also giving this one a thumbs up if you like it so guys once you've mixed everything um together you want to cover your you want to bring your bowl to the fire you guys bring it to the fire and we're going to be doing a double boiler method leave that seed on hot water for um for 10 to 15 minutes then you're going to take it out you stay that from time to time so that you it really mixes it up and um, the oil extracts the nutrients from the flaxseed okay guys so 15 minutes later you're going to bring it out of the fire so guys this is how it's looking and now this is where you're going to start adding your essential oils if you have them if you do not have the essential oils you can skip this part and you must not add the exact essential oils that I am adding you add the ones you have and and of course I'm gonna leave the the names of the oils that I'm I am using in the description box below so just go down below and you will see the names of everything if you really want to use the ones that I am using I will write them down below so after you add that you want to just mix your oil guys if you notice it's already settling and then you after you mix everything nicely you want to cover that and then we're going to keep it for 20 for 12 to 24 hours in a cool dry place okay guys for it to infuse very well but if you're so much in a hurry that you want to use it right now you can just let it sit for some time to cool off and settle and then you drain it and you start using but because i like my oils to always be very potent so i'm very sure that 
it has it's extracted all the nutrients that it needs for my hair i like to make it potent i like to always finish the recipe so keep it overnight or 12 hours to 24 hours before you you use it So 24 hours later guys this is how it's looking it's all settled and our oil is on top and now you just need to strain so guys i actually discovered after i put the the cheesecloth that i wasn't even i didn't need it guys as you can see the oil is all uh, clear there's there are no residues in it so it was useless for me to use it but I realized it when I've already filmed everything and I've, and I've used it anyway. So, so this is how the oil is looking after you strain everything, guys. And you have this pop, which, guys, I don't advise you to throw it away. And also, I still do not advise you to put it on your hair because it will leave a lot of um, pops in your hair. So what I do with it is I keep it in the freezer and I use it as a scrub. Guys, it's amazing for your skin. It leaves your skin super soft and smooth. Use it as a gentle scrub, guys. You can keep that and use it. That quantity that I kept, I'll use it two times. Like I'll use it on Monday and on Friday on my skin as a gentle scrub. Okay, guys, so do not throw it away. Then once you strain everything, you want to pour that into your container. You want to use this oil to massage and to use scalp, or oh guys, if you have bath spots, try using this every day on your scalp. If you just want to keep your scalp healthy, you can massage it two times or three times a week. You can use it as a pre-pull hot oil treatment. If you have high porosity hair, you can use this to seal in the moisture in your hair. Right, guys? So that is our oil, super effective and also very easy to make then we're going to move on to the next one which is going to be a hair growth shampoo so guys what you want to do here is also very simple you just want to take some few um spoons of that's about two spoons of the flaxseed which is our main ingredient you pour that in water and we're going to boil it for 15 minutes as usual boil it for 15 minutes guys if you've used flaxseed before you already know how to do this you just want to boil it until you start seeing the the slimy substance that um, surfaces on your flaxseed that that is an indication that your flaxseed is ready so you keep stirring from time to time so that it does not it you don't burn it so once you start seeing this slimy stuff that is on the surface of your flaxseed, you know that it's ready. So you want to turn off your stove and straight. So some people like to keep it to, to cool off, guys. You know that when you leave it to cool off, guys, it will be thickened. It will become very thick and it will be difficult for you to strain and remove the seeds. So what I usually do is I strain it immediately after taking up take it out of the fire because it, then it's still very hot and the the gel is not yet um thickened so it's easy to separate the seeds from the gel like that it's, it, but if you leave it to cool off it's going to be very difficult and time consuming to separate the gel from the seeds All right guys so once you separate the gel you want to keep your keep your gel aside we're going to come back to that later so for now we're going to be working with the seeds so that is the seed so what you want to do now is to pour your seeds into a blender and then you i just rinsed the pot that i used in boiling the the flaxseed guys so i rinsed it and then i used the water about half a cup of water and i boil it in the seeds and then i blend i went ahead and blended the seeds and now i'm just trying to strain them so strain your seed to extract the milk because we're going to be using the milk for the shampoo
and then you add your castile soap to it now guys you can substitute the castile soap with um, black seed soap um, your normal shampoo or any other thing that you think you can use it to substitute the castile soap then I'm adding pepper, my peppermint oil which is completely optional as well but I, I love the sensation of peppermint oil on my scalp it helps guys to stimulate stimulate blood flow to the scalp with intent promote hair growth so that's why i use it very often so you want to stir all of that up guys and then go and wash use it to wash your hair so i didn't show you guys how i was washing my hair with this not to make the video super long but i assume all of us know how to wash our hair so you want to apply this to your scalp and it's advisable to leave it on your scalp for about five minutes before you rinse it guys Okay, then we're going to move on to our next, which is um, the last but not the least, which is our deep conditioner or uh, treatment. So guys, remember the gel we separated from the seeds. You want to bring that gel back because it's now very cool, cool and nice. So into it, we're going to add some other ingredients like an egg, which is super amazing for hair growth because it contains vitamin A and E, biotin and folate acids, which are amazing ingredients which help to thicken your hair and keep it healthy and then also it has a lot of fatty acids which helps to replenish moisture then you also got to add an oil i'm using my extra virgin olive oil which is a mother of all oils helps to prevent breakage then you will add two tablespoons of organic honey raw honey organic honey they are all same guys so you want to add that and then you're going to mix everything together so guys, you want to mix onto the egg, onto the egg mixes with your gel. So guys, I just changed my bowl in order not to spill everything. You know that like when you you when you're mixing your your gel, immediately one touches the floor, all of it will follow, guys. So that's the issue. So you just want to mix until it becomes very cloudy, this um cloudy color, and then. Your gel is ready to apply guys so now you want to pour this into uh, an application bottle like this or anything that you think that it will be easy for you to apply because it's it's really messy guys this stuff is messy to apply if you're not careful so guys using flaxseed often your regimen is going to help you a lot with breakage and split ends dandruff all the things that i mentioned before but if you use it once it's not going to do nothing for you guys so you have to be consistent when you're trying all these um recipes especially if you're not if you if you don't have any particular issue that you really want to treat there is no need for you dwelling on this to use it over a long time you might just want to use it over a long time like a challenge to see if it will actually help you to increase some length on your hair or to keep your hair very healthy but usually i advise people to use their products over a while to see if it's working for their hair especially if you're trying to really trying to stop breakage or treat a particular issue that is happening to your hair all right guys but i love flaxseed guys I love flaxseed and I found out that it actually stops breakage. It's one of those ingredients that actually stops your breakage and your split ends. I remember when I started using uh, flaxseed on my daughter's hair, it was, she was um, my second child. She was suffering from split ends a lot. But I used flaxseed for a while and uh, I discovered that it actually reduced and eventually it stopped. It actually stopped, guys. So not that it was only the flaxseed that i continued to use but the, the amount of times that i use it on her hair her hair really improved and then i am sure aloe vera actually came and stopped it and changed our game okay guys so use the use this three three methods if you're struggling with something and use it over a, a length of period three to six months and see how it's going to work for you so guys this is it i will put a plastic bag on my hair so guys remember when you put it on your hair you massage real good 
and then you put a plastic bag and you sit for an hour or two or more as you like and then you go wash your hair and you condition and style so that's it guys thank you guys for watching please let me know which is your best method and i will see you back in the next video